Zim Integrated Shipping Services is a marine transport company based in Israel. It's a small company but managed to boost profitability at a time larger shippers suffered during the COVID crisis and was listed on the New York Stock Exchange late last year. The stock is up 290% in less than a year, but this was driven by earnings growth. The stock is still fairly valued. Zim's latest filing with the SEC was a prospectus to sell more shares. If you're interested in the company or the industry, take a look. This chart is from the prospectus. The main takeaway here is the growth in adjusted earnings before interest in taxes, which is essentially operating income. This table makes adjustments to operating income to bring us to adjusted earnings before interest taxes, depreciation, and amortization. It's an important level of cash flow in the valuation world. Okay, and let's just take a peek at the balance sheet just to say we did it. Okay, we did it. Also from the prospectus is this note stating that the Board of Directors has adopted a dividend policy to distribute up to 50% of annual earnings to shareholders. One other quick note. Zim is Israeli, and Israel is known for its competency in high technology. I think this is going to play a role in the company's success. From a FinViz screen, these are all marine freight companies over $300 million in market cap. You can see how tight the range of forward earnings multiples are. Zim is number 14 on the list. But with respect to price to sales, Zim looks undervalued relative to its peers. I had to manually add a few of Zim's numbers here, but you can see that Zim has a high return on assets, strong operating and profit margins, but lower gross margins relative to peers. This is by design, as the company only owns one vessel and charters 99% of its fleet. The company does this to stay nimble, forging strategic alliances and vessel sharing agreements with large carriers like Maersk while also focusing on using technology to streamline procurement and optimize cargo mixes. Let's take a look at value as a multiple of EBITDA. So we add interest-bearing debt to the company's market cap to arrive at a market value of invested capital of $7.3 billion. Divided by about a billion in uh, adjusted EBITDA gives us an implied EBITDA multiple of about 7. So what if multiples hold steady but the company earns $1.5 billion in EBITDA next year? Is that realistic? I think it might be. In the first quarter of 2021, they already earned $820 million in EBITDA. It's a cyclical industry, so anything can happen. But I think we're okay here with our $1.5 billion, just for this example. So as you can see, when you run the numbers through, we get a share value of about $74 a share. Substantially higher than the current share price of about $45 a share. And it turns out that the company is forecasting adjusted EBITDA of about $1.5 billion for 2021. Thank you for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.